and we're back. We've got two nights in Airbnb in Shropshire. We haven't heard anything about it, but online it seems like it's um, a nice place. And today the restrictions have lifted. How is it? Your first pint since before Christmas? <laughs> yeah, it's just everything we kind of missed, isn't it? Hello! This is the first evening that we have spent away from our house since... Oh, we can't even remember. We've come away here in England and it's not often we go away in England. So if we was going to go away anywhere, we'd always go abroad. But yeah, this is only the first night. So we are very excited. Dan's going to cook me some carbonara in a moment. <laughs> Make me carbonara. Do you think this is the start of the rest of life or I think this is another hurdle? What do you mean? So like we've been in that a lot going now several times do you think this is the start of the end of coronavirus or is this i have no idea i'd like to think so but who knows life's been so crazy and up and down in and out of lockdown what this is third fourth lockdown who knows but things are looking good sun shining shops have opened today we've had a beer in a beer garden we just need to allow the airports to open now <laughs> that's marisa's birthday tomorrow also as well turn the big 3am do I have to keep telling people? Getting old. People think I'm only early 20s. I do still actually get ID in shops. Mm -hmm. That happened once. <laughs> I'm going in. See you in a bit, mate. Bye! Bye. morning from a very beautiful and sunny Telford. Not only is it our first day, but it's also Marisa's 30th birthday today, which means we can have birthday cake for breakfast, which is nice. So the plan is for today, we're going to go on all trails and pick out a nice walk. It's, uh, it looks like a ruin site, about 200 meters down the road. So we're going to have a wander to there, See what that's all about. But yeah, as far as Airbnbs are concerned, this is way up there. This is probably the best Airbnb we've ever stayed at. It's only small, but there's plenty of room for two people. But we managed to cook a meal last night. There's every every single utensil we needed for that, so we're short of nothing. It's really well thought out and it's so cozy. The hot tub was perfect, the log burner, and the area surrounding is stunning. Got woke up this morning with the birds. That was a lovely start to Marisa's 30s. But yeah, so we'll bring you with us later today and we will see you later. In the morning we walked down to Libyshaw Abbey, which was about a five minute walk from the cottage. The monastery was built in the 1100s and was inhabited by monks through till around the 1500s. The grounds are open to have a walk round what's left of the ruins without having to pay.
In the afternoon, we drove to Shrewsbury, which took around 35 minutes from Telford. The town was beautiful and littered with old Tudor buildings. As it was the first week of restrictions lifting, the town was only 50% open. We promised when things were back in full swing, we would come back. After our short trip to Shrewsbury, we headed back to our cottage for the evening. What's it been? The first one's done. I know, I cannot believe it's like over with how quick this is like two days ago. Amazing time. Um, so we went to Shrewsbury yesterday, so today we're going to go to Telford. Can you want to go look at an iron bridge? Yeah, apparently Telford's, Telford's famous for iron bridge. That's something along them lines. So instead of just rushing off, we're going to use the leave we've got left today. And go and see that. But yeah, it's sad to be leaving the cottage. Yeah, so we're so sad to be leaving, but happy for the next adventure. adventure. We're not sure where that is yet, are we? No, but it's exciting, I suppose, because it's the unknown. We'll okay, see. speak soon. <laughs> that the town's called Iron Bridge because of the Iron Bridge. But the place is really beautiful, isn't it, Reese? It's so nice. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a town so pretty. When you go up there, you look, it's beautiful. Out of coffee outside. Mm. I feel like I'm on my holidays. It's really warm, isn't it? Absolutely roast in here, yeah. It's so beautiful. Look at this place, so it's stunning and it's like it's like a postcard. Telford area, we would definitely, definitely recommend coming to Iron Bridge. We did not know what to expect, and wow, we've been completely blown away, haven't we? Like, it's gorgeous. It's a lovely little town. Just like... I can imagine the time where it's completely open. I bet here it can be um, extremely busy, but at the minute it's not too bad, is it? No, all the shops and cafes and things like that are starting to open up, and we've just managed to drop lucky with the weather. And I think that brings us to the end of our weekend away, isn't it? Yeah, I think now we're going to go drive home and then I think my mum's asked us to go sit in the garden and have some tea at theirs. Yeah. Apparently she got me another birthday cake. <laughs> More cake. Put some weight on, we need to go some runs and walks. Oh, no. Right, we'll just see you next time. <laughs>